Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, it's been a long day. Um, I did not prepare for this video, but I am determined to stick to my schedule. So you guys are just going to have to take it as it is. I haven't even done my hair. We're just not going to get into it. <laughs> but this is tea time with Ken Ken. We are here and ready to talk about the tea. I got my tea. I hope y'all got yours. Today's content is about gun violence. Mm. Now, I don't have a problem with guns. I've never had a problem with guns, ever. I just have a problem with how people behave with guns, okay? I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with, you know, on New Year's, people go out and shoot guns. I've never understood the point of it, honestly, because once that bullet leaves that chamber, it doesn't have a name on it. Unless you're intentionally aiming at somebody, that bullet doesn't have a name on it, okay? So if you're shooting up in the air, that bullet has to come back down. It's gravity, okay? Like, it's the law of physics, it has to come back down. And, I mean, even shooting in the grass, it's just not the smart thing to do. The reason why I wanted to talk about this specific subject is because one day while my brother and I were out, we encountered someone who flashed a gun at us on the highway because he was driving recklessly. In the moment, like, of course, I was frightened. Why? Because you're flashing a gun at me while I'm driving, okay? So I'm going 70 miles per hour right now, okay? And you're going to flash a gun at me while I have my little brother in the car with me. I don't think that's very safe. You know what I'm saying? And it was like he was evening up with me. It was just, you know what? Let me just play the video. Okay, uh, so... <laughs> Let me tell y'all what just happening. So I'm taking my brother over to his baseball facility because he loves something over there. And on the way back, there's this green Honda CRV that's driving, right? And I'm looking at the car, I'm like, where are your tags? Because it didn't have the tag, but it had the tag, like the temporary tag in the back of the, um, the windshield or whatever. And so this person's driving erratically and shit like that. And then, so I pass them and then they start riding my ass. So I start to slow down. Then the person comes over, drives over next to me, slows down to where our cars are like matched up, right? And he's gonna, it's a dude, he's smoking a blunt and he flashes his gun at me. Keep in mind, I did have my little brother in the car with me. Now he's not little, you know, he's 18 years old, but still like, we both drive fast, so I mean, I knew he was okay with me driving fast, so it wasn't an issue. My problem is you're flashing a gun at us like we did something wrong, like I was finna hit your car or some shit. Like, don't do that. Like, who? This is why guns shouldn't be allowed to be given to every single fucking body. Like, really? You're gonna flash a gun at me because you're driving like a moron? I can't. I cannot. I, I just can't. And I hate guns. Like, anyone who knows me knows I hate guns. I don't go hunting. I don't do any of that. So, for me, you're flashing a gun at me. Okay, I'm terrified for my life at this point. What you think I'm fixing to do? I'm gonna call the cops because you got me fucked up. So, yeah. I do apologize for the cussing that was in this video. As you did see the disclaimer about that. But... No, I don't do guns, okay? I hate guns. I hate being around them because I've been in too many situations where guns were used as the solution. They're not the solution. I have a friend that's now paralyzed from the waist down because of guns. I don't do guns at all. But anyways, honestly, it was like the most immature situation I've ever been in. I'm riding in the middle lane on the highway, minding my business, talking with my brother. Behind me, I look in my rearview mirror and there's a, a Honda CRV just driving crazy, weaving in and out of people, which is fine as long as you don't hit anybody, but you're coming pretty close to hitting people at this point. So I'm like, okay, well, let me just slow down, you know, so they can go ahead and pass me. So 
this person ends up getting behind me, almost hits me, and so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to get over, whatever. And so I get in the fast lane, I start going faster so that, you know, I can get away from them. So then this guy is thinking that I want to race with him. I don't want to race with anybody. I don't like racing on the highway. I'm just trying to get to my destination. So the guy then um, is riding my bumper, right? Now, I know that we're not supposed to hit our brakes while we're on the highway when there's people behind us. But at this point, you're pissing me off because not only are you endangering you and the people that are in the car with you, you're endangering me and my little brother. So now I have a problem with you because you're messing with me and my family. And I don't do that. So I check, I brake checked him, you know? So then he gets over and he pulls up next to me and then we start going at the same mileage. So he's lined our car up and we're both still going on this highway. And he's smoking this fat blunt. And I'm just like, okay, you're cool. Whatever. He proceeds to flash a gun at me. And he's just like... And I'm looking at him like... You cannot be this stupid. But apparently, he was. So I was like, okay. You want to flash a gun? So I told my brother, I was like, if you can, try and get a picture of his temporary license plate. Because I'm going to report this dude. Seriously. Because you're, you're being reckless at this point. You know what I'm saying? You're flashing guns and whatnot. And this just happens to be the one time that the police are not on the highway. Every other day, they're on the highway. But this one day, they were not on the highway at all. So, I took a picture of his face. Sure did. I took a picture of his face. I took a picture of the car. think I got a pretty good picture of the tag. But I got a picture because now I'm looking for you. And now you, you, like, you endangered me and my brother, and not just us, anybody else on the highway. So then I was telling my brother, you know what, we're going to call the cops. And I picked up my phone, and the dude is still looking at me during all of this and shaking his head, no, like, you don't want to do that. First of all, what are you going to do? Because just because you're flashing it doesn't mean you're going to shoot it. And I'm one of those people where I might be terrified of guns, but if you're going to pull that thing out and be flashing it everywhere, you better pull the trigger. Like, Point blank period. I know that that's a crazy thing to say, but you got a lot of people out here that don't know how to actually fight with their hands, okay? You have a lot of guys, mostly a lot of guys, that like to hide behind guns. Why? Because they can't fight. If they could fight, they wouldn't be hiding behind guns. You know what I'm saying? Guns wouldn't even be an issue if you could fight, okay? So, with him flashing this gun at me, now I'm ready to pull my car over and fight, okay? Okay? Why? I'm not like this, okay? Let me just say that. I am not a fighter. I don't like fighting people. But it's the fact that you were on my passenger side. If you had been on my driver's side, then it would have been a different story. But you're on my passenger side, okay? So your threat is going to hit my brother before it hits me, okay? And I know that my brother would do anything for me and protect me, but I'm the big sister. You're not going to come for my family by any means. I don't care who you are. The dude just starts speeding off. And, like, then when I start getting over, you know, back over into the middle lane, he starts slowing down, trying to see where I'm going to go. I really wanted him to get off on my exit. I really wanted him to get off on my exit. <laughs> now, that sounds crazy, too, but I was ready for this. I was ready for whatever this dude was going to bring to me at this point. Because if you're going to pull the gun out and threaten someone, why won't you just follow through? I just want to know, like, that's just been a thought that I've had since this incident happened. As you can tell, it happened in December, but still, like, if you're going to do it, then why not just pull the trigger? Because now, to me, you look like a coward. You look like a whole coward because you pulled this gun out and you're thinking you're a big, big guy, but you didn't do anything. Like, you don't know what I had in my car. I could have had a gun in my car. <laughs> and if I had been one of those people to have a gun in my car, then I would have been the female to shoot. Period. Because if I'm going to pull it out, I'm shooting it. There's no point in waving it around. Like, it's not a damn flag, okay? Like I said, I don't like guns, but I'm not against them, okay? I don't involve myself in activities that involve guns. I don't do that. But if you're going to have one and you're going to be out here flinging it around like it's a damn flag then use it be smart about it 
I don't care if you if you have it to protect yourself. I don't care, okay? Protect yourself. Protect your family by any means. I don't cuss in my videos, but this is one that's just really irks my nerves because you have a lot of careless people out here and this is how people end up dying this is how kids end up shot because people like this are out here just showboating guns around like it's a freaking circus it's not okay guns are, are are legit thing they're serious so this is something you don't play with okay honestly I, i'm praying for the dude because clearly something's not right up here for you to be showboating a gun because I didn't do anything for you to do that. You were riding me and I protected myself. So you felt the need to pull a gun out. Okay, cool. Makes you seem like the big tough guy in this equation, but it doesn't. You're not. I'm going to leave it where it's at. Like I said, I said what I had to say. Tea time. That's it. Got a new video coming out on Thursday. It will be... I can't decide if it'll be a relationships video or if it'll be another happy planner video. And then Saturday we'll have another episode of Seriously. I haven't came up with the content for that either. But I'm kind of leaning towards doing it on Lori Harvey and her little fiasco. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do apologize if you were taken off guard by the cussing this is just a very sensitive topic for me like i said i did have a couple of friends get injured by gun violence i was once in a car that got shot up so i i've been there i'm not a huge fan of them so it is a very very sensitive topic for me but with that being said i'm gonna wrap up this video i hope everyone is staying safe in this crazy weather that we're having Hope everyone is being blessed and I hope everyone has a great evening. I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye guys. Have a good